Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to expertly apply voltage division principle to efficiently solve resistive circuits. Once we master this principle, it becomes possible to write the equation of the desired output voltage directly without having to resort to circuit analysis techniques. So let's see how this can be done. The voltage division principle applies to resistors connected in series. In such circuits, the voltage drop across any resistor is proportional to the magnitude of the resistor. Consider two resistors in series R1 and R2 connected to a voltage source V1 as shown. Using passive sign convention, we can apply Kirchhoff voltage law to this circuit and write the circuit equation as follows. We can solve this equation to find the current and then using Ohm's law, we can find the voltage drops across the two resistors. These equations show that V1 voltage drop across resistor R1 is proportional to R1 and V2 is proportional to R2. The voltage division principle can be easily extended to any number of resistors connected in series. Here Vs denotes the applied voltage source. In the numerator we have the resistor across which we wish to determine the voltage drop in the denominator, we have the equivalent resistance, which is given by the sum of the, all the resistors connected in series. When employing voltage division, it is important to interpret the obtained voltages appropriately. Consider a voltage divider circuit formed by three resistors in series. Here V1, V2 and V3 are the voltage drops across the resistors R1, R2 and R3. Using voltage division principle, we can write expressions for these voltage drops directly as shown. In this circuit, Vx, Vy and Vz denote the node voltages. Recall that a node is any point in the circuit where two circuit elements meet and node voltage is the voltage at that node with respect to a common reference point or ground. In this circuit, we can see that Vx is equal to V1 because the voltage source is directly connected between node X and ground. We can see that node voltage Vz is the same as the voltage drop across resistor R3 because the resistor R3 is directly connected between node Z and ground. However, in this circuit, the node voltage Vy is not equal to the voltage drop across R2. Instead, the node voltage Vy is proportional to the voltage drop across both R2 and R3 and can be written using voltage division principle as shown. Hence, care must be taken when applying voltage division principle to determine node voltages in the circuit. Let us consider a simple application of voltage division. In this given circuit, V0 is the open circuit voltage, which is defined as the voltage at the terminal marked positive minus the voltage at the terminal marked negative. We denote node voltages Vx and Vy as shown. Since no current can flow through an open circuit, node voltage Vx is equal to node voltage V plus. 
and node voltage Vy is equal to the node voltage V minus. We can see that this circuit has two parallel branches and the voltage drop across each parallel branch is 18 volts. Within each branch, the two resistors form respective voltage dividers. Hence, we can use voltage division to find the output voltage as shown. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. This is the same circuit constructed in LTSPICE. We can also label the nodes within LTSPICE as shown. When we simulate, we can see that we obtain the same values of V plus and V minus, which means that the simulated output voltage is 10.8 minus 14.4 which gives minus 3.6 volts. Next, let's consider an average or standard difficulty example. In this given circuit, the desired output voltage is across the 60 ohm resistor as shown. We can combine some resistors to simplify the problem and facilitate the application of voltage division principle. 60 ohm in parallel with 20 ohm gives 15 ohm. This 15 ohm is in series with 15 ohms and gives 30 ohm. And then 30 ohm in parallel with 30 ohm gives 15 ohm equivalent resistance. Now we can redraw the circuit as shown. We have two parallel branches. In this branch, the voltage drop Vx can be determined using voltage division as follows. Once we have Vx, we can redraw part of the circuit of interest as shown here. Again, using voltage division principle, we can find output voltage V0 as shown. With a little bit of experience and practice, and instead of going through these intermediate steps, we can actually write an expression for the output voltage directly as shown. In this expression, the two parallel lines uh, denote parallel combination of resistors. And in this expression, we can identify the two voltage dividers that form part of the expression. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. This is the same circuit constructed in LTSPICE. When we simulate, we can see that the output voltage V0 is 7.5 volts, which matches the calculated value. Next, we consider a, a challenging example. In this given circuit, the desired voltages are V1 and V2. Analyzing this circuit using node voltage or mesh current methods may involve a lot of effort. However, using series parallel combination of resistors and repeated application of voltage division principle, we can expertly write the voltage expressions directly as follows. To help you make sense of these expressions, the intermediate steps are shown here. We can redraw the given circuit as shown. 
Then we can use voltage division to first find the node voltage Vx. After that, we can use voltage division to find V1 and V2 as shown. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. This is the same circuit constructed in LTSpice. When we simulate, we can see that the output voltage V2 is the same as what we calculated. To find the output voltage V1, we subtract the two node voltages and this gives the same value that we calculated. Finally, we consider an example with dependent voltage source. In this circuit, R0 and RL form a voltage divider for the dependent voltage source. Also, RS and R in form a voltage divider for the input voltage source Vs. Thus, the output voltage VL can be calculated using two voltage dividers as shown. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. In this video, we have explored the application of voltage division principle. We have seen that voltage divider circuits can be formed using independent voltage sources or dependent voltage sources or even node voltages. Voltage division directly gives the voltage drop across the resistors connected in series and this may or may not be the same as the node voltage. Finally, with experience, the voltage division principle can be applied repeatedly along with series parallel combination of resistors to obtain the desired voltage directly without the need for detailed circuit analysis. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that it is helpful to your learning.